so imagine that you are doing an experiment like this that you are uh, diluting uh, you are diluting diluting a colorful uh, solution and then somehow you are measuring the intensity of each solution and you are writing a, a thesis and publishing it in a reputed journal and your conclusion is like this the dye is good for watching netflix then what will be your reaction then definitely you'll be saying that uh, your experiments doesn't coincide uh, with the with with your conclusions your conclusion is diametrically opposite or it has no not even any connection with the experiments or the uh, theoretical questions that you wanted to explore right this is exactly what happened in this uh, homeopathic study we will go to that this study uh, called unraveling the low frequency triggered electromagnetic signatures in potentized to homeopathic medicine it was published in elsevier uh, uh and uh, uh to talk about elsevier elsevier is a very reputed publishing company and this uh, journal material science and engineering b it has an impact factor of about 3.4 uh, we know that um, when we discuss about a scientific study uh, the impact factor of the journal in which it is published is very important most of the time it is very important to know the actual impact factor of the study um we don't consider studies that are published in low impact fact factor journals like journals that are having an impact factor of less than 1 so the question is what impact they are actually making if they are having a less a impact factor of less than 1 but this is uh, uh, a mediocre journal of having a impact factor of around 3.4 uh, and it is coming from a reputed um, the publishing uh, company so the question is how this um, uh, boga study or like this uh, what what we call it? it's a it's a pseudo a pseudo scientific study how a pseudo scientific study can publish in publish in a reputed journal like this okay let's go and explore uh, what uh, what they did what they are actually trying to do in this study is that they wanted to uh, create a device um, uh, or create a novel uh, device to actually categorize the potencies of the homeopathic medicines so that's what their intention was because they um, uh, mentioned in uh, in the introduction of the paper that after uh, a dilution of a 12c it is impossible to actually find find any molecules of the um, uh, medicinal molecule so they wanted to make a device a novel device um, so that it can categorize um, um, the homeopathic medicines even in low potency so uh, if we uh, take a uh, for image uh, for example if you take a homeopathic medicine of like 30c or something then put it into this machine or this device then it gives a uh, the results that oh it is of this potency so that's what they wanted to actually create and in the conclusion they are mentioning that the, the homeopathic medicines have a uh, indigenous um uh, electromagnetic signatures of their own and uh, these electromagnetic signatures when the homeopathic medicine is taken induces or like uh, activates the vital energy in the human body and uh, that that that's how um uh, it heals any ailments that's that's what the, what what's their claim is it, it's it's um, not even science fiction to me it is like just a piece of uh, junk okay so this is the instrument they have made um, to measure this uh, extraordinary um, uh, science um, uh, when looking at this picture uh, this device may not be um, very familiar to you because even the authors claim that it is a very novel instrument so there is no chance that you have seen it but you have seen this in your life not only you have seen this instrument you have experienced with this instrument in your life but in a different form if i show the picture of that instrument you can definitely <laughs> <laughs> definitely identify that instrument and that instrument is nothing else a metal a metal detector you might have used a metal detector in your life or you might have uh, gone through a metal detector door and uh, you uh, you have seen this thing 